Good afternoon, I'm Crimson Skies, and welcome back to my Entropia journey. We're now on day five, almost a week, and here I am at Fort F Fury. Deciding to look around the fort, I find a building that I'm able to enter, with big bold letters saying unlimited hardware. Out of curiosity, I decided to check it out. Finding a construction machine, auctioneer, and technician, I decided to see if this technician had anything different from the technician at Port Atlantis. Now admittedly, looking through it, everything looked to be the same stuff, but I didn't actually look at everything the first time, and found a blueprint that looked a lot easier to find the resources for, a basic filter blueprint. Quickly looking for any other blueprints I may have missed, I buy the basic filter blueprint, then head out. Excited with my new find, I find the teleporter and travel back to Port Atlantis. But, remembering that I had purchased a few deeds, I look up a YouTube video to try and figure out how to actually cash them out. Finding the Pedflow Center, I see that I actually was making a little off the deeds, and so I cash them out. Now my goal today was to try and do the basic quests and receive whatever rewards they may offer. With me constantly running into issues every time I try to go my own way, I decided it was time to just focus the quests and level up my skills doing that. So I headed off to the South Swamp Camp, because I remember the scientist there having a question mark over her head when I had left for Port Atlantis. However, when I got there, I was clearly wrong. She had no more missions for me. So I decided to go to the North Swamp Camp, since I didn't actually talk to anyone there, just more or less drove right on through. I found Hokan, Hokan standing outside. He asked me to mine for energy matter even providing me with just enough probes to do the job. With a new task at hand, I make my way to the first waypoint. Quickly taking out a snabble snot near the objective marker, I then pull out my finder and begin the mining process, getting some crude oil. Done with that, I head on over to the second waypoint. Running my way through the swamp, I get there with no issue and I drop my probe there, this time getting melchy water. The third waypoint had me run through the entirety of the swamp. Fortunately, I had no problems getting there and dropped the probe. Unfortunately, this one was a dud. With that though, it was time to head back to Hokan. Handing in the quest, he rewarded me with improving my rank and a surveying skill. Happily making my way inside, I find two more people. The first, Sweaty George, who asked me to sweat out some creatures. The second person, Lynn, who wants me to hunt Exorosaurs. I think that's what they're I think that's how you pronounce them. <laughs> With these quests now in hand, I head out to do the first one. Sweating. Remembering there were puny tripodons in the swamp, I head down there and try to find them. Unfortunately, I attracted an Allophil instead, who hit me a bit harder than what I was comfortable dealing with, so I quickly dispatched them. Finding one of the punies, I begin my sweating quest. And oh boy, this took forever. Took so long, while I was sweating one of the Tripidons, I decided to look up a forum post on sweating to see if I was even doing it right. From what I could tell, I was. So I kept at it, eventually getting the task done. I move on to the second task for Lynn. Now this is where things get a bit interesting for me, because the third Exorosaur ended up dropping something worth 0.5 pet. Another one? Point two, point four, and so so on and so forth. These were some of the best drops I had gotten hunting so far. But anyways, I finished a quest, so I decided it was time for me to head back and turn in these quests. So heading to Lynn, she rewarded me with experience to aim skill, and George gave me experience to the sweat gatherer skill. Finished with the quest here, I head outside and make a friend, get my vehicle, and head on to the science outpost on the island. Here I talk to Harzol Kenna, who tells me some of her fellow scientists were kidnapped, asking me to kill a bunch of Argonauts until their leaders come out, kill the leaders, then go to the cave and free the scientists. And so, I begin the hunt. While doing this quest, a player by the name of Alice Baby Girl <laughs> asks me if I'm in need of a mentor. I ask what the benefits were, they say I'll get a gift, and so I agree. Accepting Alice as my mentor, I continue on with the quest. Eventually, the leaders come out grumpy, lumpy, and bumpy. With them dead, time to head to the cave. 
Once inside, as I'm clearing out all the mobs, I keep finding these science tools laying around. I try to pick them up, even saying, it, it, it even says F to interact, but nothing happens. So eventually I decide to just move on, finding the scientists and freeing them. With this done, I return to Harzel in which she rewards me with a rank up in courage. And so with this, I call it a day. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.